Welcome to another show, I'm Sid, and in today's video I want to show you something really cool. Like, I know a lot of people wonder about static text on Instagram and how to get those filters approved. People have a lot of problems, I see it in the Facebook community group, I get a lot of comments about it. And I wanted to show you a workaround that I've found, which has allowed me to get my text filter published uh, on Instagram. With static text, not tracking onto anything. Uh, you can see it here, I'm going to show you a little preview. Uh, there's no video today, I'm laying in bed while I record this, being a bit lazy, but it was such a cool feature, I just wanted to show it off. So, as you can see, if I swipe over here, I have this filter here, which is called number one, uh, and it is live on Instagram right now. The visibility is there. Now, if I come back over here, you'll see that it's my test project. So, if I open this up, what you'll see is I have a null object here, with a canvas nested inside of it and then a 2D text nested inside of that. And you can see it here, if I, if I expand this out, you'll see I have the text here. I can switch over the 2D view, drag it around wherever I want. And the canvas itself is in camera space, not world space. It's not tracking onto anything. It's just there as an ordinary normal text. So what I do now is I take this text layer and I make it invisible. And then I hit upload and export, export file, and you want to save that as uh, something that you can tell is invisible text. So I'm going to rename that invisible text, and I'm going to export it to the desktop. And now once you have that, you want to cancel that again, come back to your 2D text and make it revisible in your scene, and then do the exact same thing, export that file, except this time I'm going to call it visible text. So now we export that to the desktop as well. You see we have both of those now as AR export project files. We can cancel that, we can hide this, and I can close this empty project. So now if I come over here, then I can go to the home page, I can hit publish effect, and I can give it another name. So we'll call this one text filter. Uh, and then what you wanna do is you wanna choose the file that has the invisible text, and you wanna drag that in and upload it here as a project file. Once you have that, you want to fill in the rest of your categories and your keywords and all that sort of stuff, and then hit save. So now we have this project, it's saved as a, a draft, so when we want we can submit it. If we submit it right now though, uh, you'll basically just be submitting a project without any text in it, because the file is there with text, but the actual layer itself is invisible in your scene. So what you want to do next is hit test on device, and then send yourself a link. I'm using Instagram, but it probably works with Facebook. I haven't actually tested it though, so you might wanna do that yourself. But send yourself a link, and now as you can see, I'll give you a little preview. Here's the link uh, in my phone opened up. What I'm gonna do is record a preview video as if you would normally, as, as you would for a normal filter that you're uploading. So record your preview video with this text, uh, this invisible text file, and upload it here to the Spark AR uh, hub. So you take that video that you've uh, recorded with invisible text, upload it here, and then once you've done that, you wanna come back up to your file and hit replace, and now you wanna replace the invisible text project with this visible text one. So just hit replace, that'll do that. And now you'll have your original preview here with the invisible text file. So when someone looks at it in their Instagram or on their Facebook, they won't be able to see the text. So that, that's one thing you have to consider with this. But you now have the project file with the actual text layer that you want, static text, not tracking onto the face, not 3D, nothing too crazy, and that's just there. So now, if you finish filling everything out, describe, your uh, describe how your effect works, maybe try to avoid the word 2D text or static text, uh, because it will obviously be reviewed by a human and I'm not sure why this works, but it will probably get patched or fixed at some point, so just be careful with that. But once you've filled out all of this, hit submit, and it will go through uh, just like a normal filter would, and you'll be able to go through the review process. Now if I go back here to the Spark AR Hub, you'll see in my insights, I have this one here, uh, and everything is as it is. I have my visible text here, .ar export, and the actual project itself has been published on, oh, it's published on Facebook as well. So yeah, it does work on Facebook and on Instagram. And uh, yeah, so if I switch over to the Instagram camera, you'll see there's my preview video. 
I can go to the details here and I can show you it. It's just a, a test version. There's actually no text in the scene. But if you open that filter up, like there'll be a link in the description to my Instagram. You can check it out for yourself. I won't have deleted it for at least a few days after this goes live. So you can see for yourself that in the top left corner of this filter, when you open it on your phone, there is a small uh, text here. So it should just be sat right up in the top left. Uh, this is a very quick video. I just wanted to explain because I found like a workaround that worked for me. Somebody asked on Instagram and I was trying to help them with their filter and I stumbled upon this technique. I figured people would be interested. So if you are and you enjoy it and you found this useful and it works for you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, share it with your friends, share it any way you like. And uh, yeah, check all my social links below. If you have any more suggestions on videos I can make in the future, leave a comment. I really appreciate all your feedback. We've just passed 1,100 uh, subscribers, so I'm very excited about that. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. Sorry there was no face cam today, but I'm feeling lazy. I have work soon, and I'm just kind of chilling in bed until it's time to leave. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. No, I'm recording something else real quick. I just want to say thank you, everyone, for helping me reach the 1100 subscriber mark. It means that I'm now partnered on YouTube, which is amazing. My videos, you might notice in the future, have ads running on them. And that means that I can earn revenue from this channel now. So I plan on putting out a lot more content in the future. I'm so motivated now to make tutorials, live streams, all kinds of content. And while I have you here... Uh, uh, if it's not too much, I'm going to leave a link in the description to a playlist of all my videos, the tutorials playlist, the, the live stream playlist. And if, if you have the time, or even if you don't, and you can just leave your computer open on another screen, if you watch all of my videos, I would appreciate that so much because you'd be helping me out more than you know. And in particular, I'm going to link one at the very top of the description, which is my I think eyelashes or eyebrows filter tutorial, which is not the best video, it's not that great, but it has one of the highest CPMs that I've ever seen. So if you watch that video once, twice, three times, you will be like contributing far more to this channel than like you even realize. And it would mean so much to me. Uh, I'm sorry that I'm spamming at the end and this is quite low quality video. As you can see, I'm sat in bed, I'm just chilling in a furry hoodie. I got about eight minutes before I have to get ready to go to work. So my plan is to record this and <laughs> upload it uh, as fast as I can, see what the reaction is. I really hope you like this video because it took me a while to figure this out for the person who requested it. But now that I have, it seems like such a cool workaround that everybody's going to want to use it, at least as far as I can tell. I'm going to throw static text into my filters and the amount of comments I get of people saying, especially on my text video that I made about of people saying, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that, they're not approving it. Uh, was it policy 1.14a or something? Uh, but yeah, try it out. Let me know how it works. And please watch all my videos because, uh, I mean, I, I mean, you know why, but I would really appreciate it. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Hopefully tomorrow. Uh, I want to make more tutorials. So I'll see you soon. Peace.